go to image adjustments and desaturate making that black and white now the very next thing um, that I'm going to do is again experiment with a few different um, blending modes and I'm going to start off um, just looking at overlay and seeing what that does and what you'll notice is that um, it grunges it up um, quite a bit um, I'm actually going to um, just have a play around and see what soft light does hard light definitely not hard light um, I might actually try multiply here um, that's that's kind of cool but it is a little bit strong still so I'm gonna turn down the opacity of that layer to about um, 50 percent and you can see the difference that it makes to the image it makes it a little bit darker it gives it a little bit of texture um, and that's looking okay I think it could probably um, actually I might uh, go for the soft light and sort of make it about 70% there so you can see when I turn this layer on and off by clicking on the um, eye icon next to it um, it really does make in a difference to the image and really um, roughs it up gives it a bit of texture and makes it look a bit grungier now for the next part of our tutorial I'm going to show you how you can um, create realistic blood spatters in Photoshop um, before we go downloading any um, brush sets from the internet though what I'm going to show you is what you can achieve with um, Photoshop's default settings um, I'm going to start off by pressing B on my keyboard to select uh, the brush tool and if you have a look over here in the toolbox um, it's been selected and I'm going to go up to the menu up here and make sure that I have um, the soft round 65 pixel brush selected now if you're seeing brushes that are different to this that's probably because you don't have the um, default set enabled um, just go to this little drop down menu here and go to reset brushes and that way you'll be able to set the brushes um, back to what they normally are uh, another couple of things for this uh, tutorial uh, make sure that your opacity is set to 100% flow to 100% and the blending mode of your brush needs to be um, on normal what I'm going to do now is um, jump over here to the um, brushes palette now if you can't see the brushes palette on your screen you can go to the windows menu and drop down to uh, brushes and it'll appear like this now to start off with you, you'll notice I'm not really making uh, any changes to the default um, brush tip shape here. Um, I'm going to turn on shape dynamics though and what I've done here is I've gone through and I've put in the settings that um, I want. Take the time just to have a look at those and um, see, see what you can do um, in terms of setting up a brush like this in Photoshop. Um, you'll notice first of all that with the shape dynamics I've set the size jitter. Um, I've absolutely maxed that out because I really want to um, change the size of the brush from time to time you'll notice as I turn on these different settings and adjust them uh, we get a preview of the brush down here in the um, brushes palette um, and that's a really good way to see what your brush is going to look like I'm also going to turn on um, scattering and I've sent I've set uh, scatter to 295 percent and you'll notice if I move this up and down uh, then the brush changes accordingly um, in the preview down there um, and I've set the count jitter to 80% the next thing I'm going to do is turn on a texture um, and I've just selected uh, the default um, bubbles um, as they appear I've set the scaling to 250% um, I've checked texture each tip I've set the mode to overlay um, the depth to 15% the minimum depth to 65 um, and so on the next thing I'm going to do is turn on dual brush and what I'm going to do here is select um, the the same brush um, as I'm using for the primary brush soft round 65 I'm going to set the dynamic diameter to 65 the spacing to 25% um, and the scatter to 500% and what you'll notice is that I have a kind of uh, spatter looking effect um, happening over here okay next up what I'm going to do is uh, close the brushes palette 
and I'm going to select a new foreground color because I don't want to be painting in black. It's not a very bloody color. Now, I've actually worked out the precise number of the color that I want to use. So I'm going to change this value here um, to 400000. And you'll notice that picks a nice dark red color. You don't want your blood to be too red. It doesn't look tremendously realistic. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new layer in the um, layers palette over here. And remember, this is in the front and spine section of my cover. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just start to paint a little bit, and I'm going to put a few um, little speckles and dots um, on the face of my actress over here, um, and just sort of some random uh, blood spatters uh, over the canvas. Not too many. I, I don't want to go overboard with this. And in fact, this brush setting doesn't look too good uh, once you start to uh, paint too much of it on. Um, now that's looking reasonably good. Uh, the way I can improve the look of this blood is by um, going to the uh, blending mode of this layer in the layers palette. And I'm going to change this to, we'll start off with multiply. That looks reasonably good. Once again, um, the blending modes of these, uh, when you change the blending mode of a layer, it can look a little bit unpredictable. Um, so it's a good idea just to change it around. And in fact, overlay doesn't look too bad there. I think I might, actually I'll try hard light. I think I'll go for overlay, actually. Uh, that looks kind of cool. And you can go to town and really just put um, a few different spatters and smudges all over the canvas. You get a nice um, sort of random effect uh, with the brush that we've set up here. Now what I'm going to do now is show you another technique um, for using brushes and if you head over to Google and um, search for blood spatter Photoshop brushes you're bound to come up with a whole heap of great uh, brushes. I'm going to create um, another new layer here. Uh, once again I'll set the blending mode to overlay because that looks pretty good and I'm going to go up to the um, brush menu up here in the options bar go over to um, this little drop down menu and I'm going to load some brushes um, on the desktop of my computer. Um, I've already downloaded a set of brushes from the internet and when you load the brushes um, they'll appear at the bottom of, uh, they'll be appended to um, the bottom of your um, document here. So if you grab a brush like this one you'll notice that um, it creates um, a really cool kind of um, blood spatter and you can put that in your document. Um, play around with the brushes, select um, different ones, download multiple sets and I might actually change uh, the blending mode of this to normal so you can see it a little bit better as I paint it. Um, I'm also going to grab, ooh, that's a kind of awesome spatter there. And one of the cool things that you can do, um, a terrific shortcut in Photoshop when you're working with brushes like uh, these, or any brush really, is if you press the square bracket keys on your keyboard, um, what you'll find is the, the brush becomes bigger and smaller. Just like that. So I'm pressing the, um, the left square bracket key and you can make the spatters bigger. Another cool thing you can do with um, these custom brushes that you might download from the internet um, is jump back into your brush settings and you can change the shape dynamics. Um, so you can add a size jitter, you can even add an angle jitter um, and turn on scattering so you get a bit more of a random effect when you press the brush. Um, what I'm doing here is a little bit of overkill um, and I probably won't keep it for my pro final product but we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to experiment with the blending modes of this layer um, to see what I get. I kind of like the look of hard light. Uh, what I might do is just maybe bring down the opacity. I'll leave it like that. Um, you can create some really cool and interesting effects uh, using these custom brushes. But that said, you can also um, achieve a great deal just with the inbuilt um, brushes in Photoshop.